hello welcome to another episode of biology tutorials my name is Musa Tanim Sleman today we are going to talk about uh, ecological management in biology to talk about today biological association association types of association tolerance and adaptation biological association in a community there exists different kind of biological association between organisms of different species some of these biological association are beneficial and are natural while others are harmful in ecological management the key successful stewardship can be subdivided into five general categories have the conservation planning, restoration, prescribed management, research and monitoring. What we are trying to explain here is is either a species can adapt based on his conservation, based on the movement of the temperature, humidity, or vice versa. And we have types of association. The possible types of associations we have the symbiosis, commensalism, parasitism, predators, and competitors. What are symbiosis relationship? This is a close relationship between two organisms in which both of them are benefit. Both of them benefits from each other. It's a beneficial association and each member is called a symbiont. What we are trying to see here is is either part A or organism A benefit from an organism B and an organism B benefit from organism A that's vice versa that's a symbiosis relationship a relationship where both parties benefit from one another I will have commercialism relationship this association between two organisms is a relationship where species benefit but the other is neither help nor harmed Simply, we are, say, we are saying um, association A benefit while also the other association either is being helped, which is, is like a pre. He benefits from A, why A doesn't benefit from B, which this, this time around the relationship can be symbiosis. Is part A benefiting from part A, part B benefiting from part A. And we have parasitis, parasitism, that's a parasit, parasite. Yeah, team A is like a parasite on team B, which shows A is a symbiotic relationship where one organism benefits and the other is harmed. The other one is being cheated. A layman definition, the other one is being cheated. That's the that's a kind of relationship that is called parasitism. And we have... Predator. We have something that is called predator. A predator relationship is a type of association between two organisms in which a predator kills the other one. You see, part A kills part B. He benefited from part B, and at the end, at the uh, at the end, he kills part B. That's a predator relationship. That would take us to what we call tolerance in ecological system. Tolerance is refers to a niche beneath or a range of condition that an organism can withstand. The ability of an organism to survive when subjected to a biotic factor or biotic factors. That's what you call tolerance. A situation where a particular organism or a particular plant or animal can withstand a certain temperature can withstand a certain humidity, can withstand a certain pressure, intensity, or atmospheric condition. That's what we call tolerance. There are some certain organisms or certain animals, certain plants that cannot survive in a particular temperature. And we have some that, know, that can survive in a particular temperature. If you check either, either in the continental shelf or in the Arctic or Antarctic, 
no either in the Sahel, Guinea, you find some animals or some part of there's some plants that can be available in those parts of savannas or in those parts of rainforests that can't be present in others. Why? It's due to tolerance. How they normally tolerate the condition. No, how they normally let me just say the normal example with this normal pandemic that is going on, coronavirus. You know, uh some some experts or some professionals said coronavirus of Italy, the symptoms is different from the coronavirus in USA. The coronavirus in the USA is different from the coronavirus of UK. Why? Due to a certain temperature. Because the higher the temperature, the higher the reach of the viruses. Because do Olam just say the virus supports low temperatures. And we have adaptation. Adaptation in biology is a process in by which or in which species become filtered to its environment. It is the result of natural selection acting upon a heritable variation over several generations. We are trying to see here is we have adaptation of animal to aquatic animal, adaptation of animal to terrestrial habitat, adaptation of animal to arboreal habitats, adaptation of plants to aquatic habitat. So in general, we have animal adaptation and we have plant adaptation. So in plant adaptation, we have plant to terrestrial habitat. We have animal to ter terrestrial habitat. And special adaptation of some organism. We have tilapia fish for movement, adaptation of birds for fleets, things like that. That's what we normally call adaptation. How do you normally how do you normally adapt? How do you normally how do you normally withstand steam with some animals? Like how normally dolphin withstand steam in the water with some heavy as in with some gigantic animals where uh uh how little little fish normally stay inside the water with frogs is normal is what we call adaptation and in summary what we are trying to see environment and ecological management for purpose of this paper environmental management deals with the physical and biological components of the art system while ecological management is largely interested in the biological component and with the physical component only as the impacts of biodata. And we have study questions here. We have three study questions. These are part one of our tutorials. And we are going to we are going to meet in the next episode of part two tutorials. Thank you very much. See you in another episode.